Oh, has it? That's okay. pretty cool. So we've got all our organic courgettes that were delivered from the farm down the road from New Hope Living. We're going to give those a good scrub. Some beautiful flowers in there as well. Cut them up finely and that will go into our stews. These are the beans Brad's busy doing for the, the big pot stew behind you. As we mentioned, it's three bean stew. Today we're making about 150 to 200 kilos of it. It's a base stew and then we add loads and loads of goodness and they can bulk it up with rice, um, pap, water, etc, etc. Through to this area where we do most of our dishes and then all the way through to here. So this is the downstairs prep area. So we've got somebody cutting in this section, somebody cutting in that section, two of us cutting in the main section and one doing prepping and cleaning down here. And then Tammy and the other staff are doing the paperwork, checking in deliveries, all those sort of things. So we keep it a bit of a apart. All our deliveries, the deliveries we stop coming through here, they all come to the front of the restaurant now and are sanitized. And then they come into the restaurant. This is Dix. Back at work today for the first time in a while. He's one of the head chefs. He's just chopping like crazy. But a whole lot of beautiful organic leeks delivered from uh, New Living Hope, New York Living, and he's going to cut it all, and that's going to go into our chicken and leek soup. Back here, you can see the sanitizers everywhere, every 20 minutes or half an hour, everybody takes gloves off sanitizers, and we have a five minute water break, and then we go again. Through here is our area where they pick up all the food for the communities. This is our top man here, he does all our basic cleaning and scrubbing and make sure that all the pots are ready to go and just keeps everything sanitized and clean especially all the bin areas when everybody comes out there is sanitizer there's our recycled bins green is for food waste and all our other recyclable products black bins is non return waste all our glass bottles etc also get recycled get picked up once a week and the funds go to help in the local schools so when the community guys come pick up the food, it all goes on this table, they sanitize, we don't make contact, it's left on the table for them as we see them arrive, and they go off. And that's kind of the routine of the day. And we're asking for more donations so that we can carry on this, this fantastic initiative of, um, of being able to keep some staff employed, um, use some of the funding to go towards expenses um, like electricity, PPE for staff, um, waste, um, and and basic staff salaries. Oh, I've actually last spoke to you back at work. Um, a month at home in no money is not a joke. Mm -hmm. So to be able to get out to help the community and to provide for my family, it's a good feeling. Okay. Yeah, it feels fantastic. Fantastic. Something to do and helping the community. So, so I think